Hello! So, after yesterday's video, the uh, how to make your wraith a laser beam, there's been, uh, I saw some people in the comment section talking about range, because I pointed out the range, and how people don't understand what range is on weapons, meaning if we go over here to uh, schematic and we pull open, uh, let's just say this buzz cut, we go to the stats, and it says the maximum distance beyond which this weapon deals no damage. So 4,096 on the buzz cut. At 4,097, you're gonna you're not gonna hit. Your bullet disappears. It vanishes. Okay. There's no bullet drop. Some people were trying to confuse it with bullet drop. It's just damage. The bullet goes, and then the farther the distance, the less damage you do as it goes. Um, I've always been curious, we've been talking about it for over a year, on the different damage drop-offs of weapons, right? Uh, and in, in some, some bigger games, like, uh, maybe the Division, per se, or, or other, other shooters, right? There is usually a team of guys that are in charge of the weapons, the IT guys, or the tech guys that, that handle weapons and do weapon balancing. And so in those scenarios or those games, you have a huge variety of drop-offs, spreads, recoils, all kinds of other things, right? Uh, one of the things I've always tried to express to people in Save the World is it's super simplistic. Okay? People overcomplicate the game. They overassume a lot of stuff. I mean, pretty much everything is just like, I mean, it is what it is. It's, 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 it's cut and paste and it's simplified. So, um, but I was never sure if how in depth the damage drop off was on weapons. So, after I did the video yesterday, I was bored and killing time and decided to go test it. And so, basically, basically, it is. It's simplistic. I'll show you. Check this out. Pow! Right here. Boom. Here's your damage drop off, okay? So, if you look on the left-hand side, that's the percentage of damage. So, the higher you go up, it's 100% of the damage up at the top. And as it, the bars drop down, you do less and less damage. Down to 0%, meaning you're not doing any damage, okay? As you go across the x-axis, which is going this direction, you'll notice 0 0.51, 1.5. That is the range per tile. Basically, I placed down four pieces and shot at one or at, at the beginning of the tile, at the middle of the tile, at the back of the tile, at the middle of the next tile. The so they're in half tile increment distances, okay? So for those of you that are curious, that buzz cut had 4,000 range and what 4,000 means. If you look up at the top, you've got the, the legend that shows all the different weapons that I tested. I did not get around to, um, there's like nine different ARs that I, I didn't test, but I did test all of these guys. Um, I will get the rest of them on here. I will make this public for those of you that want to tinker with it and look at it You can you can play with the graph, but basically I color-coded everything red being the uh, The group of guns that have the fastest shortest to drop off meaning it's like the silent specter typewriter bobcat hydra are all colored red um, and if you look oh, I can use my mouse. Hey check that out if you look right here at 1.5 this is 1.5 tiles, okay? That is where those guns start to lose damage. They will maintain 100% of their damage up until 1.5 tiles. 1.5 at 2 tiles. At 2 tiles, they've dropped, they've dropped, they've dropped, they've dropped. And at the 7th tile, they are down to 20% of their damage. Guns like the Ranger, Deathstalker, Wraith, and Tiger are green because they have the longest range. They have the 5,000 ranges. They also maintain their damage out longer distances, okay? Follow me? Follow me. So, if you're curious, you get the colors up here. Lynx, Buzzcut, Dragon's Roar, Nocturno, Razorblade, Gravedigger, Siegebreaker all share the middle drop-off. And this just proves my point on how it's kind of simplified. They have three categories, right? Up until... Uh, the Silent Specter guns, the ARs had two different categories also on, on build styles. You had the Siege Breaker that was a, um, a 10% crit chance base value and a 50 crit damage base value. And then the guns like the Hunter Killer were 15% crit chance and 75 crit damage. So you had like the 1575s and the 1050s. Okay, so you had two styles of guns. Then the Silent Spectre came out and broke the rules and it was 20 crit chance with 75 crit damage. The Wraith follows that same path with the 20, uh, 2075 as well. So now there's three base styles of weapons for 
base stats, and then there's base values on their damage drop-offs. Um, I'm assuming there's not going to be a fourth setup. Maybe the LMGs might be different, but probably not. I don't have the Mercury LMG, the Terminator, or the Hacksaw on here, but I bet you they're going to fall uh, into the, the yellow lines. I'm almost positive they will. But So... For those of you that are curious what damage drop-off is, that's what it is. That's what the range means as you go out. And this I tested in-game. And I'll, I'll briefly I'll briefly show you show you what it looks like um, in-game. Okay, so now that we're in here, we'll look at uh, the three different ranges. You've got the, uh, the red line, yellow line, and green lines on the graph. So the short, the faster drop-offs, the shorter range, and then the, the, all the way through. Man, these guys are just going to keep spawning. All right. Basically, here's your tiles for your distance, okay? Silent Spectre being the short range on the red line. 44 damage, okay? At one and a half. So, snared. You can snare your walls. Oh, God. Enemies nearby! Okay, bro, I was rudely interrupted. We're at 44, come out to one and a half. 44, come out to two, two tiles. Snare, snare, snare. 41. So, this is your range with the short range weapons. One and a half tiles to maintain 100% damage. That goes for the Silent Spectre, the Typewriter, the Bobcat, the Hydra. And there's a few that I haven't tested. Oh my lord, man. Okay. Mid-range, the yellow line. Point blank. 105. Come out to two. Snare, 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 snare. Snare, snare. Life bar blocked it. 105, okay. Two and a half. 100. So the mid-range guns can go half a tile distance further before they start losing damage. The dis difference being that the, um, the mid-range, if you notice the curve, um, it doesn't go as steep right off the bat. It goes out and then curves down more if you're looking at it, the yellow line. So it'll still, it starts losing damage, but it maintains damage further for longer. Doesn't, it doesn't drop, as, drop off as steeply and as quickly, if you get what I'm saying. And then green, the green guys, the long range guys, they, at three tiles, 71, no snare, 71. So at three tiles, come up to three and a half, 69. Three tiles. But again, you'll notice that when it starts to drop off after three, it has even more of a gradual slope. So it maintains even more more damage. And you want to know what um, 18 tiles looks like? This is the maximum range of 5,000. So one, two, three, here's six. Well, I don't, think I, I don't think I can go this way. We'll do it this way. Let's see if we can aggro some stuff. These guys are going to break my stuff down. That. All right, so just to give you a visual on how di how far these shoot before you whiff your bullet, um, you're not going to be wanting to shoot at this point because this is, you're going to be hitting for like one or two damage, right? But just just for fun, okay? So here's here's your target. We're going to go one, two, three tiles, four, five, six tiles, seven, eight, nine tiles, ten, eleven, twelve tiles. This is the range right behind this wall. I would not do any damage. So I can't show because that's a man-made wall. Um, I wish I would have screenshotted my testing the other day because I had, I had, in downtown, I had bridges going everywhere because eventually the walls break, right? Okay, they'll break. They run out of health and they break and then I have to find a new wall. It was gross, but I had all these different runways. Looked like I was in Asgard. But anyways, so this is the distance where you will whiff your bullet on a short-range weapon. The mid-range weapon... We'll come out here to 15 tiles. Okay. Like your buzz cuts. Your grave diggers, razor blades, nocturnos, 
Dragon Roar's Lynx, this is where it whips. And then, this is where your long range whips at 18. Okay. None of us are going to fight that far, right? So, if we've learned anything, short range, one and a half, mid range, two, and then the uh, the long range, three, before you lose any damage. Monster. Now, this honestly right here, this is, uh, uh, the I mean, think about it. This is kind of, this is where we usually fight anyways. We're usually fighting within one to two, two tiles anyways. So, it's not that big of a deal. Oh, shoot. It's not a huge deal. It's not a huge deal if you think about it. You're like, oh, I'm losing damage. Because even at three, you're still out here. And if you're at three tiles with the short range, you're down to 80% of your damage. So, I mean, then again, look at, look at how bad this is, right? And then yesterday's video, we were talking about the Wraith um, being obscene. You know, bring one down that explodes outward, okay? Um, I was at five tiles showing off the spread, okay? There's that gnarly spread. But if you're using that at a mid-range, like where the, before you lose any damage on it, even if it spreads, you're, 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 you're putting shots into your target, okay? Um, so hopefully that uh, that answers a lot of you guys' questions and concerns on, on range. It definitely cleared a bunch of stuff up for me. We've been talking about it forever. I've just never sat down to test it. Um, actually, when the game first launched, we weren't able to test it because you couldn't... If I remember correctly, you couldn't do damage to, to walls. Guns hit. on a ninja. Who does Whoa. that? Who uses guns on a ninja? How dare me. Anyways, so that's cool. Um, keep a look down in my description section. Um, I will be, when I figure out how I want to get this information public, uh, like some of my spreadsheets, I'm also going to put up uh, the perk, not the calculator itself, but when I do all the workouts, like the, the tables and stuff, if you guys want access to that, uh, you'll start having links to that kind of spreadsheet information down in the description below, along with my, if you're looking for streamers, I've got a streamers link down there for all of the current streamers, some of the older retired streamers, and then um, my Twitter link is down there, my Twitch link is down there, lots of good stuff, dudes. So, dudettes as well. So, if you want to see more... You want to get in touch with the community more? You want to see some of the top players do their thing? Swing by the channel. We'll pass you around. It's good, 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 awesome fun. We do testing. A lot of this stuff that we've been doing lately is is just from from chat, from discussions, debates, and um, I've got a bunch more myths coming up soon because if that last myth both the video, people are like, "Well, I heard this. I heard this." There's a lot of goofy stuff too that's not going to make the cut. I'm telling you that right now. But people are just making stuff up. It's cool. Anyways, now I'm rambling. So, range. Range. Damage drop off. That's what it means. That's the range at when you do zero damage. Again, science. Till next time. Bye bye now.